Hello, everybody. Uh, today I'm talking about Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga. And uh, Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga is uh, uh, when Mars is in its own sign or exaltation sign. And this is the continuation of the Mahapursha Yoga Masterclasses. Hello, everybody. I am talking about Ruchaka Mahapursha today. And uh, this is created by Mars. And the rule is this, that if Mars is in its own sign or exaltation sign, then uh, Ruchaka Mahapursha takes place. Now, uh, Ruchaka means uh, golden. It means good luck. Uh, large, big, Mahapursha is an illustrious person, a powerful person. And Ruchaka Mahapursha uh, allows a person through courage and confidence to achieve really whatever uh, they would like to achieve. In my book, Essentials of Vedic Astrology, I have written about Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga uh, uh, that... Um, when Mars produces this yoga, it indicates a very powerful person who has the ability to externalize his talents. Action, energy are the key words. Uh, so you can read up about it in my book, uh, The Vedic Essentials of Vedic Astrology. These are, uh, uh, you know, basic information. But uh, the Ruchaka Mahapursha is in many classics. And uh, you can also read up about it in Paldipika. Uh, and other classics where the Mahapursha Yogas are given. So uh, in order to have the Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga, Mars must be in Aries, Scorpio or Capricorn. Therefore, if it is strong and powerful in Aries, Scorpio or Capricorn, and it should be in Kendra. Uh, so that means that it is in one, four, seven or ten houses. So therefore, the Ruchaka Mahapursha, firstly, you have to see that do you have the exalted own sign Mars? And secondly, uh, you need to see whether it is falling in one, four, uh, seven or tenth house from your Lagna, from your moon, from your sun, and also Dasha Lord. Which are the signs that gets Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga? So uh, if you are Aries, uh, Cancer, uh, Libra and Capricorn, that means uh, uh, you have Lagna, Sun, Moon in these four signs, then the Ruchaka Mahapursha, both by exaltation of Mars and own sign Mars in Aries. And if you are Taurus, uh, Leo, uh, Scorpio or uh, Aquarius, then uh, the Scorpio Mars will bring the Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga. And then uh, especially for Leo Lagna uh, and uh, Leo uh, Cancer Lagna, uh, Leo and Cancer, Mars has a special role to play. And again, you can look at Lagna and Sun and Moon and Dasha Lord as well. But mostly I, I find that from the Lagna, it is really powerful because Mars is the Raja Yoga Karaka planet. And of course, also if you have Cancer or Leo Moon or uh, cancer Leo Sun, then this Ruchaka Mahapursha uh, becomes very powerful for you. So from all the three uh, uh, Lagnas, then it, you are seriously powerful, lucky, fortunate, golden boy. You know, Mars is this golden, powerful energy in its most positive uh, nature. Mars can only do good. He's courageous. He can defend you against uh, opposition. That uh, That is what Ruchaka Mahapursha is, and very dominating personality. I think that you should know that uh, Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga uh, will be a dominating personality, and therefore you don't expect a touchy-feely, uh, good, uh, uh, easy-to-get-along-with person. They want to dominate, and because of that, they will achieve everything. And Ruchaka Mahapursha also can give a lot of property and uh, wealth because Mars can uh, create plenty wealth for you as well. And in the Mahapursha Yogas, as I talked to you before as well, that you can study them 
uh, by uh, transits as well. And uh, Mars will do uh, the give the Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga three times in two years. So Mars takes two years to go around the um, zodiac. So therefore, Mars, Aries, uh, Capricorn, and uh, Scorpio, it will have about approximately two months each in one sign. However, sometimes what I've noticed is that Mars will retrograde in that sign. And uh, when Mars is retrograding, that means that it can stay in one sign for longer than one and a half to uh, months. And uh, what I've found is that retrograde Mars in these uh, positions also, it doesn't take away the Mahapursha Yoga. It will make it that much stronger, but a bit more quirky and alternative and stubborn uh, because that is the nature of the retrograde planet. But it means that you can experience the energy of uh, this Mahapursha Yoga by transit uh, for a long time. Then uh, if you go into the Dasha of Mars and Mars is in uh, the Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga, then the seven-year Dasha of Mars will be very powerful and strong for you. And it will achieve a, a lot of good results. Now, one aspect of Mars that we have to be conscious of is that Mars also creates Kuja Dosha. Uh, so Kuja Dosha is uh, troublesome for marriage. And uh, what are the rules for Kuja Dosha? First, for seventh house, uh, Mars uh, will uh, give problems for uh, marriage. I'm not uh, doing all the Kuja Dosha rules. We'll talk about that later in another video. Uh, so therefore, you could have a, a Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga and a Kuja Dosha at the same time. And you have to know that for uh, all the material success and fame and good luck and all those things, Mars will be fine. But Mars being in uh, the Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga in the first house, fourth house, seventh house will cause problems with marriage because one side will be very dominating and the person who has Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga, they want to dominate on everything. So uh, if the... Um, other party, uh, the spouse has also Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga or a strong Mars, uh, then, uh, you know, two uh, Kuja Doshas cancel the uh, Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga. So from all the other Mahapursha Yogas, you don't see this aspect. But for Mars, you do see that if Mars is in Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga and can be in Kuja Dosha as well. And in my opinion, I think all of us have to learn how to manage the Mars energy because Mars is pure fire. And if we have a uh, strong Mars, it is not just uh, enough to be uh, strong and powerful. You have to also learn how to nurture that fire within you and to uh, contain it because you can become too powerful and too aggressive. And if you don't take care about that factor, so in Ruchaka Mahapursha Yoga, this is an uh, extra uh, thing to watch out for. And in relationships, uh, Mars can be very angry and destructive. And uh, the Mahapursha Yoga means you can still be powerful and strong, but you're not being uh, happy and uh, easy energy regarding relationships. So uh, doing the remedy for Mars would be uh, important. And the remedy for uh, Mars uh, is uh, uh, worship of Lord Muruga. I have done a remedial measure uh, class and you can uh, uh, link to that. I'll put a link here. But also Lord Muruga. Uh, he's also known as Kartikeya and he's also known as uh, uh, Skanda. Now, there are six temples in Tamil Nadu that you can go and visit as part of a pilgrimage of Lord Muruga. Uh, and uh, those are beautiful. I've done that many times myself. Or you can go to the local Lord Muruga temple near you. Then even here in California, we have uh, one Lord Muruga temple about 10 miles away from where I live. Um, so you don't have to go to India to visit the temples. But if you can... 
then that would be a very good remedy for Mars. And uh, also just common sense remedy that you are powerful, therefore exercise your pow power kindly and nicely and not just become too uh, egoistic about how strong you are. Uh, so uh, please do um, write to me in uh, the messages below that how you experience your Ruchaka Mahapurcha Yoga and um, uh, you know any other uh, ideas you have for me to make master classes I'll be happy to uh, do that as well so all the best thank you very much